body's wrong Rewrote the song Thoughts become action Tell me what's happening What's your mind wrapped in Wrapped around Wrap, Wrapped around Wrapped around Wrapped around What's Alright, what's going on YouTube? Nassif here from Click, and today I'm just going to be doing like a quick video here on my HTC, kind of going over everything I've got for it, and we'll go over a little bit of what's on the phone, what kind of ROM I'm running. I'll get a little bit into some root information. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First off, I just want to talk about some of the cases I've picked up along along the year of having um, the phone. So first off, I picked up this, I guess the other thing it was like a $5 case. So I figured it's a really small, really light case, just something I can pop in maybe for like home usage or whatnot. Um, and you know what, you get what you pay for. I mean, if you take a look here, let's get this into focus. I mean, the, the quality of the case is not that great, but for, yeah, for like five bucks, it, I figured it would look half decent. Um, so yeah, I mean, I use this thing when I just kind of bumming around or if I'm going out to like, I'm not actually, I don't even use it when I'm going out. I pretty much just use it at home because it's a thin case. Um, so let's get that aside, put this back into focus here. Next up, I've got the Spigen case here. Again, I think this one was like 10 or $12, I'm not sure. Um, so I popped that in. I like the fact that this is kind of like a clear thing, so you can see the wrap. I'll get into that after. Uh, the buttons, they're kind of mushy, um, if I'm honest. You can't really tell that you're pushing, especially the power button. The power button, you really, really mushy button. Um, but again, for 10 bucks, not really going to complain. You got your cutouts here, you know, the usual. Um, but I just like the feel of the, the back here. It almost feels like uh, it's it's not like plastic. It almost feels like a, a soft glass. So that's a nice touch to that case. So let's pull this thing off here. All right. Next up, this is one of the second most expensive cases. This is that dot view case HTC offered. Now I picked it up when it went on sale. I think it was like twenty bucks when I got it. So it was a bit of a steal. Um, so you know it goes on. Uh, you know how I feel, I think I mentioned this in my VivoWare, or not the VivoWare, the PureXL um, review um, with the flip case, they're, they're more for if you're not going to be using the phone often, so when I go out to dinner or something, I know I'm not going to be busting my phone out every two seconds to answer a text, then I'll probably put this one on, because it looks nice, and when if and when you do get a message, you get this kind of cool, it's a unique thing to HTC, so... I mean, that's pretty much it for this case, it came in at 20 bucks, I'm not going to complain. Um, it does what you know it's advertised to do. I will mention that when you have the wrap on, I guess that little that that little bit of thickness the wrap adds makes a difference in how the phone kind of sits because um, the cover doesn't stay shut. So that's just something to note if you're running a wrap on your phone as well. So pull this off now. And next up, so I've got here the UAG case. So. I've also had this thing for UAG. I like the the fact that it's a really nice heavy duty case, um, and they actually look really cool. So, let's pop this on here. I'll show you what the phone looks like when it's sitting inside the actual case. So it's a nice steady, uh, sturdy fit. The phone feels really hardcore with this thing. I've dropped it a lot of times with this case, and no damage at all on either the case or the phone. Um, and I like this. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I always like the kind of clear thing, so you can see the wrap that I've had underneath. Um, in terms of the buttons and whatnot, the buttons feel really good. This kind of cutout here, um, there's a little bit of a slot. Let's get see if this focus in. There's a bit of a slot here for the IR blaster that the HTC has, and for the volume buttons here, they feel pretty. They're pretty tactile as well. So, and I also like the fact that this one and the Spigen case, they have this kind of lip that runs all the way around the front of the phone, so I can put the phone face down. Um, so, you know, if I'm in class or I'm at work or something, I get a text, no one's going to be looking over and seeing who messaged me and what the message says. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's pop this one off. Now, keep in mind with the wrap, which I'll talk about now, all these cases do fit. They feel a bit more snug than normal, so just something to mention. Um, the wrap here, the wrap setup I have here is the, I think it's the mahogany wood from D Brand Skins. Um, I'll have the link in the description. Um, and then the top and bottom, I think it's the bottom thing here. Um, I've got the black carbon fiber. I think it looked pretty cool. Um, it's a different, you know, before I just had the black carbon middle bit. Um, and I kind of got, I, I kind of grew out of it. Um, I really have turned to liking the wood ones. I even had one on my iPhone. Uh, I had a wood. Uh, I think it was the black wood. That one was from Slick Wraps, though, I believe. Um, but, you know, that's a, <laughs> that's a different topic. I'm, I'm done with Slick Wraps and, and their, you know, their dick wraps. <laughs> 
just just to say, let's leave it at that. So we'll talk about D brand now. The quality of the skin is really good. I think overall the whole package came to like uh, I think it was sub twenty bucks or maybe just a little bit over twenty dollars. So that's that. And in terms of ease of installation, you basically for the middle piece anyway. I've got so D brand sends you two. They send you kind of like this one that wraps around the volume buttons here and the one that doesn't. So basically, I'll show you here. You line the HTC logo up with the camera and you kind of press down on the middle and you get a blow dryer and you just heat up the sides and then you just wrap it around. Um, and then for these carbon inserts here, you basically just line the camera bit up here, peel it on, put it on, and then you just kind of, you gotta, I, this one was harder to put on um, and line it up with the antenna cut out here. And it went on. And then same thing with the bottom, it's pretty simple. I don't know if you can see here, let's get some focus. From the cases, the bottom has kind of peeled up. Um, so I may end up, you know what, I'm actually just going to take it off now. All right. Okay. That didn't look very nice. And with me, I'm very anal about how my phones look. So <laughs> let's peel that off. So yeah, then that, that just shows again how the wraps and stuff, they affect how the cases go on. I think that peeling ended up actually coming up from the UAG case. Um, even with my other wrap, the UAG case ended up peeling it just a little bit just because of this lip is a little bit more apparent than the, the lip on the speaking case. But, you know, small price to pay for a nice case that looks like this and offers you the amount of protection it does. So that's pretty much it in terms of stuff that I have on the for the phone and on the phone. Uh, let's get the screen cleaned a little bit here. Almost knocked the camera over cleaning my screen. All right, so clients back up here to so get, get into the phone I have do have the phone rooted um, I think I rooted it basically from day one I hate it I, I, I don't hate HD uh, the HTC sense UI um, but I'm not fond of it I don't like it very much I prefer a Cyan engine mod build or a stock Google build so the ROM that I've got running on here if you dive into the settings here is the stock GP ROM for the HTC M8 um, it's running Android 6.0. We can get into the little Easter egg thing here. Yeah, so it's running 6.0 Marshmallow. Uh, I think it's on build H10 or H11 right now. So it's on build H10, um, and it has the February security patch. So this, I'm recording, what's the date today? Recording this on March 5th, so I think the March security patch will go up soon, and the developer will post the, the ROM. Um, but for me, I always like kind of, rooting them and having making the phone my own. I don't like having the same phone as everyone else. So it's kind of cool walking around with a GP. I, it's not an official GP version of the phone, but I figured it's it's a little bit better than walking around with the stock HTC thing. Um, in terms of launcher, now I did have Nova Launcher Prime installed and I got a little bit bored of it if I'm honest. It's pretty much just a, it's, it's pretty much just a, like a it's like a spiced up Google Now launcher. Um, so I figured I'm going to switch it up. I was on the Play Store. Uh, let's head in. Let's, you know, I'll just search up Launcher. And the first one that came up was ZenUI. We even have an update for it. So let's update that while we're here. Um, I have tried out all these other ones. So the Arrow Launcher was all right. Google Now Launcher I've obviously used. Hola, Hola Launcher, not so fun. I'm like, like all these other ones I'm not fond of because they keep trying to prompt you to buy different things for the phone. Um, so for Nova Launcher, they never kind of bother you to buy Prime. It's just there if you want those extra features. Um, Apex is all right. Smart Launcher, I haven't used since Smart Launcher 2. So, I mean, I've been using this launcher now for, I think it's been four to five days, and I have no complaints. It's a really good launcher. It looks different than, uh, I guess, your, your average launcher. Um, I still haven't finished setting it up, but, you know, I like the little anim animations and stuff. You got icons look kind of cool if I want to, Swipe. So if you swipe up here, you get all these different preferences and stuff. So if I head into preferences, there's all kinds of different settings and stuff I can go through here. I can go change the look of the icons. And so I have like this kind of steel icon layout thing here. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then in terms of apps, I don't really have anything special. It's basically just the basic. I have some YouTube apps, got Gmail, got my Google app. Go on my social media, so Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I've got WhatsApp. Got a bunch of the stock apps that the ROM came with. Um, got yeah, that's pretty much it. Zedge is a cool app to have. You get a bunch of. Actually, we'll pop dive into it and just show you. Um, let's clean the screen here. 
So just press continue. So it's just basically it's it's a host for all kinds of different wallpapers. You got wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones, notifications. You can find games on here. You can find icons, but that's in beta. Um, you know, there's all kinds. Of, there's like literally hundreds of thousands of wallpapers to choose from here. So uh, that's a decent app to have. Um, in terms of the ROM performance, if you want to talk a little bit about that, I'm gonna clear all my stuff out here. So yeah, in terms of ROM performance, the the phone, the GP ROM is performing really well so far, um, and that's in kind of terms of all aspects. So I guess smoothness, the battery has been really decent as well. Let's see if I have any specs here. Yeah, so two hours screen on time, and I'm at 62%. So my projected screen on time, give or take, is going to be over four hours. Um, if I'm maintaining the same usage as I have been. So, yeah, so in terms of battery, in terms of, I guess, smoothness, it's a GP around Google. I guess Google does it best when it comes to Android, obviously. So in terms of smoothness, there's no issues. My only thing is, is I wish there was a kind of a clear all button somewhere here, but um, maybe the the ROM, I guess, developer or something will post that up as well. Um, if you take a look at the camera. Now, before I even get into the camera here, I will say that... This is kind of off topic of what the phone, uh, what's on my phone. But if we look at the camera here, I don't know if you can see that in the picture here. There's kind of always, like if I clean these fingerprints off here, there's a little bit of a, it looks like there's a bit of a coating that was gone. And now I know the coating is gone, but the thing is, is I had to remove the, the protective coating on the camera. And that was because the coating kept scratching. And it got to the point where there were scratches all over this coating and it completely covered the lens and the camera photos ended up coming out extremely blurry. Um, I don't know if I have something to demonstrate here. You know what, I'll, I'll coat the, let's cover this thing up with a fingerprint here. So basically this is what the camera looked like all the time. So it's completely coated in, in oil and scratches and fingerprints. So if we take a picture here of the car that's sitting here. All right, and now I'm gonna clean the lens up all right, I'm going to take the same picture, focus in, and take the shot. So now, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. Let's see if I can get this in focus here. So that's the picture, I believe, with the fingerprint, and this is the one without. Or maybe it's the other way around. Um, but if you zoom in, I don't, again, I don't think it's going to show up on camera, but in person, you can tell that the one without the fingerprint is the more realistic looking picture. Um, and that kind of translates to even when I'm using it for Snapchat or if I'm taking a picture of something and I have the fingerprint on there, I've got to retake the picture because it looks it's just it just doesn't look that great. Like if you look here, I barely touched the lens and it's covered in um, in the fingerprint. So what I ended up doing is I took some 90% uh, alcohol and I put it on a cotton swab and I scrubbed that little coating out. Um, so yeah, that's that. The front camera is done decent. That's you know, I'll just open up YouTube here. Go behind camera. I'll find a song for us to listen to while I demonstrate the speakers. Let's just pull up a random song by No Copyright Sounds. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not going to go and this make you listen to a song that you can find on YouTube. But the speakers on this thing are great. They've held up well. Uh, overall, I guess the phone is just kind of turned into kind of like a, a, oh, you know, overall impressions of the phone type video when it was supposed to just be uh, what's on my phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the HTC's held up well. Um, again, in terms of what's on my phone, it's a pretty basic setup. I like the basic ROM. I don't like, because um, I find when you try and load Cyanogen Mod and, and you get all these different, like, developers putting all these different kinds of features into the phone. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks great. And, you know, it's cool for a short while, but after a while it becomes unstable and buggy. And I find with this ROM, everything's just work. It, everything just works. Even if I'm in the system UI tuner, nothing here doesn't work. Even though it says here, you know, it may break or disappear or whatnot, the, the phone just works. And that's what I'm looking for in this phone because I, I, I have the Vivo Air LTE, which just recently had software issues with and I have the pure Excel which I don't have any issues with but again you never know with these kind of custom 
OSs and stuff because the the Pure Excel's OS is not stock Android. It's kind of like a a skinned version of it, so that could go wrong at any point. But I haven't had any issues with it so far. Um, but in terms for me, since I sold my iPhone, uh, my iPhone kind of was always the the complete bum stock phone where if something went wrong, then it would be Apple's fault or the manufacturer's fault, and it wouldn't be on me. Um, so I kind of want to have that with this phone now that the iPhone's gone. This is a complete Google software. So if anything goes wrong, Google will rectify it in a new update, and the ROM developer uh, will post that. Um, now in terms of future videos, I'm thinking I may do um, kind of like ROM reviews, um, just solely on the HTC, because right now that's the only phone I know that I can root in ROM safely. Um, so I may be doing that. I'm not sure. Um, in terms of other my other phones, the setup, once I get to get around to setting them up and using them, it'll be the same as this one. Um, if I find any kind of cool apps or anything in the future, then I'll kind of compile them into one video, and then at some point, maybe in, the, in a month's time, if I find those apps, um, I'll post that video up, and, and we'll take a look at the, you know what's on my phone version 2.0 or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at all the stuff that I've got for the HTC. I have you know, yet to make a video on it, and I didn't want to just kind of pump out a random crap video, like an unboxing of a, of a 2014 model phone. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you're seeing, drop us a like, uh, sub to the channel, and share with your family and friends if, if you like it, because it definitely helps us out. And again, thanks again to those 20 subs that we have right now. Uh, again, you know, I don't want to go into a rant like I did in the in the, the Vivo RLT video test, but you guys definitely help us out, you know, and it's, it's it makes us feel like we're over the moon when we have people actually enjoying our content. So that's pretty much it. Again, uh, if you have any comments or concerns or questions or anything, feel free to drop them down below. Um, you can send us a message on Facebook. You can tweet us on Twitter. You can, you know, DM us on, on Instagram, or you can send us an email at theclickuhd at gmail.com um, email address, and we'll get back to you in maybe five to ten minutes during the day. At nighttime, obviously, we'll, most likely we'll be asleep. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and this has been the C from Click, and I'm out. Peace.